It's terrible, isn't it? Happy times, oh, there, they, I didn't... Matthew Deere was a fit and healthy 17-year-old, but desperate to bulk up, he resorted to anabolic steroids, and within weeks, he was dead. A beautiful boy. Oh, I miss him so much. His parents believe he had a severe reaction to the drugs and want others to be more aware of the risks. It's no good trying to educate someone once they're actually in, in the situation and they've actually got into the gym like culture. Well, we strongly believe that you need to get to people sort of at school level before they are actually put in a situation where they've got to make a, a snap decision on whether they're going to um, pursue um, the risk that they're going to potentially take. A new report from the NHS watchdog NICE warns that soaring numbers of gym users are now injecting steroids. It says many share needles, putting themselves and others at risk of serious infections. Conservative estimates suggest almost 60,000 people aged between 16 and 59 in England and Wales have injected steroids in the last year. One study found 1.5% of them tested positive for HIV and 9% had signs of hepatitis B. They don't think of themselves as drug addicts or drug users. Um, they think of themselves as fit, healthy, their identity. What they're doing it for is to improve their appearance. And what we've got to make sure that they understand, that we all understand, is that the risks from injecting those substances are just the same as injecting um, heroin um, or crack or anything like that. Drug workers say they occasionally see children under 16 in steroid clinics, a sign of the pressure some teenagers and young men feel to be muscle-bound. Now we see uh, sort of huge guys all over Facebook, all over magazines, um, and so people want to get in with that. And also, when you go to the gym and you're 21 years old and the guy next to you is getting double the size every week and you're not getting any gains at all, people want to get that, you know, uh, and so they will do anything that, that they need to to do that. NICE warns drug services should set up outreach clinics and gyms so they keep up with the rapid rise in steroid use. Thomas Moore, Sky News.